What's up guys, girls, it's Epic Tetsu, and this is Last Cloudia. Now, we got some news, so I just thought I'd go over it real quick. Obviously we're going to have maintenance. We are getting gotcha updates, event updates, shop updates, other updates, and a token of apology. This is going to happen at about 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. PT, and during maintenance the game will not be available to play, obviously. And also, if you are fighting a battle when maintenance begin, issues may occur, so try to make sure you're... You know, logged out before then. I believe me and Nerd DK last time uh, suffered our, our maintenance together in multiplayer. Alright, so we do have Descendant of Heroes Festival Ultra is being released. Basically, this is a rate-up chance for the units listed below and the Council of Ten UR, uh, Ultra Rare Arc, you know, and El Giovanna, the Imperator, and then Bolt Bearer's Ascent, SSR, and Sandworm. Sandworm is a great arc, uh, has dual wield on it, and then of course, um, Bolt Bear's Ascent. I'm not even sure if I have that one, so I'm not going to even talk about it, because I'm not sure. Alright, uh, basically the Descent of Heroes Festival limited unit arcs, etc. is held twice a month, and different ones appear. This is big, this is what we've all been pretty much waiting for, who, you know, haven't been able to rush leveling up Roland, etc. Or any awesome new units you may have gotten through the free summons, etc. And we are getting the training field. This is fantastic for getting unit souls, um, getting mother souls for upgrading your skills in case you're a new player. Um, and then, of course, these mega clusters. And these mega clusters are very important for uh, not only some skills, but unlocking uh, the 110 skills and whatnot. You need these to make the uh, Grim Wars, uh, red, blue, etc., respectively. Um, event units that are going to receive good XP and AP are listed below. Obviously, Heroic Lord Roland, so that'll help you get him to 100 or 110 in case you didn't use your uh, Rainbow Potion on him. Uh, Granatus, awesome unit. Um, I think mine's already 110, yeah. Uh, Regal Bolt Lanceville, Sheeta, I'm going to be working on Sheeta. Night Lord Kyle's only 100, I'll probably make him 110. Uh, Cyber Slayer Alice, and then, of course, just the rest below, you know. So, definitely some cool units, definitely get uh, to work on them. We are also having the updated uh, volume where there'll be epilogue story and a high difficulty quest. And there will be some new power-up sets and bargain packs. There are some bug fixes as well. You may have seen this where the Grana Sea boat thing has appeared, that dungeon. Um, even if it, the conditions haven't been met. Um, so, basically I guess they're going to fix that. And the... Recollections of Black and White event, uh, when clearing either the quest mission Black Soul Reaper Melza level 60 or White Black, White Knight Black Reaper level 80, the other quest mission is also marked as completed. For some reason that was very hard to say. Okay, here's the other part, uh, the token of apology. So basically there were some issues that occurred after the, uh, April 14th, and so basically a token of apology and for bearing with them and all that good stuff. So 300 crystals, nice, another added to that. Orange orb recovery times 20, always good to have more of those. And anybody who has a username before the start of this maintenance will receive this. So as long as you got a username, you're good. So that's pretty much it for the news of the update. And since we're talking about news and updates and all that kind of stuff, we are going to show you where I currently am with my Heroic Lord Roland, who looks amazing. Alright, so, let's go from here, and go there. Alright, so, I'm roughly 101, almost 102, so I'm definitely going to be able to hopefully get him to 110, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, I did a random uh, free 3010 on the banner. Because I hadn't done that one yet. Because I did get him through my page if you watch my other video. And I actually got another one of him. So that helped me awaken him a little farther. Uh, I do want to fully awaken him and unlock his abilities. So I'll be doing all that. And I don't have all the skills I want yet. Uh, as you can see my abilities are only 98 out of 120. But I'll go ahead and show you what I'm working with so far. And I will be changing all this up once it's finally done for a decent you know, build for whatever. Uh, I'll go ahead and post a video and let you know what I'm doing. Um... I believe Tweaks and Buddha definitely already... I know Tweaks did. I'm not sure about Buddha, but uh, they have videos up. And uh, Tweaks' Heroic Roland showcase was pretty awesome. So you can always go check that out too. Uh, HP Up Max definitely wants something like that on him. Uh, you know, 
just HPs, a couple attack up maxes, stuff like that. I'm working on uh, getting his uh, a defense up max on there. Uh, don't know why I didn't put that on. So critical up and two. I want to put auto critical on him, things like that. Aim vitals. Well, I need to come in here and redo my stuff. Um, I don't know why B Slayer's on. Okay. Anyway, so, you know, there's, there's some of the skills I have. But like I said, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. This isn't a skill building video or anything like that. I'm still learning a bunch of skills. And then once I'm done, I'll, I'll put that out for you. Uh, yeah. Let's just finish that up. Okay. Oh, and I might as well show you this. I'll show you in the other video, but uh, because of how things went and all that, uh, I just went ahead and picked up his stuff because of those uh, limited banners where you can get, you know, a UR arc and whatever. It gives you the hero credentials. So because of those, those paid ones, I ended up getting both of his paid pieces of gear. And then, of course, the sword that we're going to finally use will be the one from the event. And if you're having trouble on that event, you could be a new player, and that could also be why. Um, and the events I'm talking about, obviously, are... The uh, Capital Battle Lords and the Four Lords Strike Again. Basically, these both these battles uh, are very weak to light. So bringing light units helps. And then, of course, non-attribute uh, is something you can bring as well. And so that's your, your best bet. But if you're a very new player, the best thing I can say is use this training field time. Because you still got three weeks to really max up your units. Hopefully you got a Heroic Lord Roland. And then you're going to want to get some friends that have good units too. Unfortunately, when you're a new player, the only friends you can usually add are the ones that are within your rank. So I recommend going to multiplayer. Um, and maybe you can get in with some higher rank people uh, and play a quest with them. And maybe they'll uh, add you or you can try to add them and maybe they'll accept. I usually do accept uh, most people um, unless they're inactive and then I delete them off my list. Um, I will be adding some more friend spots to my list because... I got about 138 out of 145, so I need to add some more. And I still need to finish adding the rest of my guild members. Anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed the third anniversary and have had some good pulls. And as soon as I got more content and more builds, I will be back. And we will see you in that video. Take care.